hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and under episode of the heart talk if you're new here thanks for coming around god bless you please do well to subscribe to the channel so you get notified when other videos are uploaded okay so today i have a guest in the house a person of tracy in metal my roomie and my friend and undergraduate of economics and university of nigeria on sukar tracy say hi today hi guys it's tracy I'm so happy to be here today on the Hat Talk Show with Success. I've been watching this series and it's been so, so inspiring. And to be here to share my views, ha, that's so amazing. So stay tuned, stay connected, and make sure you learn something okay, so today. today. We'll be discussing on depression and anxiety. Yeah, depression and anxiety. Tracy, can you kindly share your view on depression and anxiety? As she said, our topic today is depression and anxiety. Depression is something that so many people go through today in our societies. It's as if it's become so common in this our generation. But, you know, depression starts from the little things like having issues with your friend groups to social media, things like cyberbullying and all. But anyway, let me just give you the simple definition of depression. Depression is a mental disorder that is characterized by consistent mood swings or change in moods like sad moods majorly and loss of interest in activities and most times these are activities you love doing you enjoy doing things like singing dancing gisting ha. as we know so many people love gisting like gisting can literally be a hobby so things like this and of course this sets a major this causes rather a major setback in our daily life and our daily communications with people around us so let's go to anxiety what is anxiety anxiety is the persistent consistent and excessive worry and fear about everything and anything sometimes it can come as simply as as simple as um taking a test to making public speeches well <laughs> I believe almost everybody has public um, anxiety when it comes to making public speeches. But then, things like that. And anxiety, you just worry, is this going to happen? When I'm on stage, am I going to fall down? Am I going to lose, um, am I going to, like for writing a test, am I going to lose my pen? Is my brain just going to wipe off? So yeah, this are the major explanations of depression and anxiety well, tracy thanks for sharing your view that's a thought for a few okay to add to what tracy has said friends i wanted to know that depression and anxiety can occur at the same time when you're having this feeling of hopelessness anger difficulty in concentrating or making decision that's a sign of depression that's not just out there who are being depressed they are being molested and it's causing depression. There are also students out there in, in their various colleges who can afford meals, even their handouts, textbooks, and it's causing depression. It's so devastating. So Tracy, can you kind of share with us the steps or measures taken to overcome depression and anxiety? So before I talk about the steps and measures to be taken to overcome depression and anxiety, I want to give a few points on how to know you're getting depressed. First, we have the persistent feeling of sadness. You just always feel down, you just always feel sad for no just reason, just because you want to, just because it's a feeling that you just want to feel at that moment. Or you have unnecessary mood swings, you get angry at people, direct such anger at them when they don't even deserve it. Or you tend to um, experience lack of sleep at night. You have insomnia, you don't sleep, you're just thinking, or you're irritated by anything and everything, you're just restless. And most times, this can cause weight issues. That is, either you tend to get, get too much weight or too less weight. Okay, so these are just a few points, a few symptoms to know you're getting depressed. Now, back to how to overcome depression and anxiety. Now, first of all, concerning anxiety, when it comes to the simple cases, you just need to take in deep breaths. You know, just feel relaxed. Then drink water, drink a lot of water. Wash your face, you know, just feel hydrated and good. Avoid alcohol and drugs for people who take those. Now, concerning drugs, I just don't mean medicine. It can be an overdose use of drugs, that is of medicine, or, or hard drugs. 
Yeah, and if it's so serious, you can decide to see a therapist or a psychologist that could help you out. Now, concerning depression, you can visit a therapist if it's that serious also, like I said, for anxiety. And also, face your reality, face your fears. This also relates to anxiety when you're anxious about something. Face it, because it might not be as bad as you think concerning anxiety though now for depression you dealt with this issue or you had hope in something and it doesn't just come true well it has happened deal with it move on because you have a life ahead of you you can't keep on dwelling on the past now stop thinking so much stop negative thoughts you know negative thoughts are just the worst they can kill you before you actually die so stop thinking negatively surround yourself with positive people surround yourself with people who show you love who bring the best out in you if you have relationships with toxic people be it friendship or anything please anybody so please let's surround, our, surround ourselves with positivity and you know feel good Wow, thanks a lot, Tracy, for sharing your view. Thanks for sharing your view. Okay, to add to what Tracy has said, the steps, measures, taking to overcome depression, you can create a morning, evening, or even a daily routine and a sleep schedule. And most importantly, most importantly, I want to know that depression and anxiety is a storm and only Jesus can calm the storm. You heard me right. Depression and anxiety is a storm and only Jesus can calm the storm. So if you try to fight with your human power or your flesh, I tell you, you might fail. So... In, to be able to overcome depression you must invite jesus into your life that's the only and perfect way in which you can overcome depression and anxiety completely so it was nice having trace in the house it was nice having you in the house tracy can you say what before we bring this talk show to a close it's been nice having to talk to you guys today i hope you learned a lot and i hope i didn't bore you out it's been nice here with success and i hope we do an interesting topic later or you know the one with all the vibes and everything yeah thank you for having me today okay, bye yes, guys Tracy, thanks for coming around god bless you thanks for coming around so yeah we come to the end of the hard talk show for today watch out for our next episode on the hard talk and don't forget to subscribe to the channel